Hey everybody, this is Scott Moore from USA Music Lessons and ncmusiclessons.com here today to talk about setting up a completely free website on wordpress.com. Uh, the advantage of this obviously is that it's free, um, but you still get all of the features of WordPress as if you were paying for a self-hosted uh, website. Now my preference is always to buy um, a domain that you will then own that is hosted uh, with a web hosting company. Um, versus doing WordPress. And the reason is, uh, with the WordPress uh, site that we're going to create for free, it's going to have .wordpress.com at the end. So whatever um, domain you, you wish to have, uh, we're going to do a test today with Durham Clarinet Lessons. And uh, so the URL would end up being durhamclarinetlessons.wordpress.com. And uh, so if something happened to WordPress, um, everything that we have is then gone. So I always prefer the self-hosted, but if you want to just get started, uh, you want something free, uh, this is, I think, the best option available. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the first thing you do is type uh, www.wordpress.com into uh, the address bar, and it will take you to their home page. This, of course, changes appearance from time to time, but uh, you want to find the Get Started button. And then it's going to ask for your blog address. Now, you may be thinking, well, I don't really want to ha have a blog. I want to have... Um, just a static website uh, with information about my lessons. Uh, WordPress.com is a, a blogging software, but it doesn't mean that you have to put blog posts. It's just a, a platform that they use to build websites. So whether you want static uh, website or a blog, this will work just fine. So I'm going to type in the address that I'd like, so Durham Cl Clarinet Lessons. And the reason I'm picking this one, um, one, because I teach clarinet lessons in Durham, and two, um, when picking a URL, uh, a web address, you want to pick something that um, will be searchable in Google. Um, we can get into search engine optimization uh, in another video, but the more keywords that you have in your URL, the better. I mean, you don't want to go overboard, <laughs> but uh, I figure most people searching for clarinet lessons uh, that would find me are searching for clarinet lessons, Durham, North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina clarinet lessons, or Durham clarinet lessons. So this is a good start and I can do more within the actual site. So that one's available. Let's say I wanted to do something else and it was taken. So if I do my test site at wordpress.com, that's already, uh, that already exists. So I'm going to go back to Durham clarinet lessons dot wordpress.com and then it's going to offer um, me a chance to buy it. Um, the actual domain Durham clarinet lessons.com for $18 a year. Uh, I think I'm just going to use the, the free address um, it would still be hosted through WordPress.com, and so I'd rather do self-hosted if I'm going to do that. And then the email address, and then you get to pick a username. It automatically fills in your blog address, which is fine for me, and then pick a password. And then it uh, gives you some options to upgrade. Uh, with domain name, uh, 10 gigabytes of space, uh, no ads, custom design, video press. I don't know what video press is, but I'm not really interested in any of those things. The only one that might be bothersome would be the ads, um, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and create the free blog. So it's going to send an email to my email inbox and just click the activate blog button. and it's thinking about it, and then it should take me to my new website, or, or the back end of my website on, on WordPress. Uh, it's giving me some uh, things to customize. I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna go to next step. Call your friends, no thanks. Set up your blogs. Um, if it gives an option for a blog title, I'm gonna click, click Durham Clarinet Lessons. Uh, tagline it has an automatic uh, tagline. Um, I don't think the Dennis uh, recommendation is going to really work for me, so I'm going to say um, looking for clarinet lessons in Durham. You've come to the right place, or something like that. And then next step. And then it gives you uh, a chance to pick a theme. Um, which is the way your your site's going to look uh, on every page, 
and that's um, you know just a way to customize it. So again, they're trying to upsell you with different things. This one costs 75, this one's 68. I'm just gonna do the default here, 2010. Um, and then I'm gonna, I don't need to customize it. Uh, it will let me create my first uh, blog post here, um, but I'm just going to finish it. And then it, you know, because it's a, a new account, it's going to give me all these different things that I can do to um, <clears throat> uh, kind of, you know, customize things that I want. So um, I'm going to go over here to new post, and then I'm going to write a post, and I'm going to say, welcome. And the post will say, welcome to my new website. And we're going to publish that. And then I'm going to click view post. So you notice that it now takes me to uh, my website, which is durhamclarinetlessons.wordpress.com. And then since I created a post, it shows up right here uh, in the in the main page that people that people land on. And if I want to go back to my dashboard, which is what I prefer to do, I'm going to click here on the top left where it says uh, the name of my site, and then scroll down to dashboard and click that. And this is going to be um, where you spend most of your time on, on this dashboard. And so here you have the chance to um, create posts. Uh, which are things you would update regularly. You would you would add new ones all the time, um, and your pages. So your about page, uh, lesson information, uh, and we'll get into to customizing all of that. But we're going to use those two the most, and then perhaps the appearance when it comes to themes and widgets. But we'll cover that in another video. So you've got your uh, website all set up. I will let you know that sometimes uh, the sign up process, the the video or the screens that you run through when you're creating the wordpress.com uh, free website change. So I've already done this two times today and and noticed that um, each time walked me through a different series of, of prompts. So all sorts of different um, things to keep in mind. What you do want to know is that if you go to your your website, so durhamclarinetlessons.wordpress.com We'll take you back there. And if you want to log in, um, well, I'm already logged in, so it would it would leave me there. But if I sign out and then come back to my site, it gives me a chance here on the right to log in. So in case I've in case I've left, I can always do that. And that takes me back to my dashboard. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you create that free uh, site. And we'll talk about customizing it a little bit later. Thanks.